Good morning, children. In our last video, we have completed phylum Cylindrata. Today, we will start with the third phylum of animal kingdom, that is phylum Tenophora. Phylum Tenophora, Tene means comb, Fours means bearing, or comb jellies or sea walnuts are exclusively marine forms. The term Tenophora was coined by George Cuvier. It includes about 50 species. Now let us study about some general features of Phylum Tenophora. The first feature is grades of organization, means level of organization in the body of Tenophores tissues are found so they show tissue level of organization they have radial symmetry the arrangement of comb plates gives the appearance of radial symmetry to the organisms they have two germ layers that is ectoderm and endoderm hence the organisms are diploblastic there is no coelom present in the tenophores so they are called acelomates as i told you earlier they are exclusively marine forms they are solitary means they live single or pelagic pelagic is uh, relating to the open seas or oceans that is living or growing at or near the surface of the ocean far from the land or they may be free living digestive system is incomplete and digestion occurs by both intracellular and extracellular means means inside the cell and outside the cell respiratory system is absent circulatory system is also absent in tenophores even the skeletal system is absent in tenophores if we talk of reproduction then only sexual reproduction is observed in tenophores. They are hermaphrodites or monoecious or you can say bisexual. Hermaphrodite means having both male and female reproductive system in the same organism, in the same individual. Gonads are endodermal means they are produced from the endodermal layer and fertilization is external fertilization does not take place inside the body it takes place in our external medium like water and development is indirect means they produce larva in their life cycle some unique features are they have eight vertical external rows of ciliated comb plates Children, can you see here this line? Like this, there are eight vertical external rows of ciliated comb plates with which they can move from one place to another place. They have tentacles present on their body with which they can move even they can sense the change in the surroundings. Then bioluminance property is observed in tenophores bioluminance means the property of a living organism to emit light is very well marked in tenophores examples of tenophora are pleobrachia tenoplana let us have the glance at the characters of the phylum tenophora once again 
they show tissue level of organization they have radial symmetry children this terms i have already explained you so i don't think so there is need of explaining all this terms again they are diploblastic acylomate they are marine exclusively marine that is they are found in marine water bodies only then solitary and pelagic solitary means they live singly and pelagic means relating to the oceans or seas so they are living or they are growing at the surface of the oceans and seas very far from the land they have incomplete digestive system means they have only one opening which access both mouth as well as anus and um, the digestion process is intracellular or extracellular it takes place inside the cell or outside the cell respiratory circulatory and skeletal system are absent this all systems are absent in body reproduction occurs by sexual means and the organisms are hermaphrodites means both the reproductive organs are present in the same individual fertilization is external it takes place outside the body in the medium and development is indirect that is uh, the larval stage is produced in the life cycle some unique features are they have eight vertical external rows of uh, ciliated comb plates which help them for locomotion that is for moving from one place to another place they have tentacles with which they can sense the changes in the surroundings and they show bioluminous luminance property bioluminescence means the property of the living organisms to emit the light and the examples are tenophyllana pleurobrachia etc okay moving to the next phylum that is phylum platyhelminthes platy means flat helminth means worm so platyhelminths includes flat worms the group includes the first simplest triploblastic group of animals and gegenbor coined the term platyhelminths it includes about 12000 species of animals they have leaf like or ribbon like body let us study some general features of this phylum number 1 is the body organization okay that is they have organ and organ system level of organization that means inside their body organs as well as organ systems are produced then symmetry is bilateral symmetry means you can see in this diagram when this plane when this plane is passed from the central axis of the body the body can be divided into right and the left half okay so the organisms show bilateral symmetry then if we talk about the germ layers then they are triploblastic that means they have three germinal layers during their embryonic development that is ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm these are the three germ layers which are produced here in the diagram even you can see the outer layer the body covering is called ectoderm then the digestive tract is there that is endoderm and in between mesoderm is present then organisms are acylomate they do not have body cavity the space between the body wall and body organ is filled by characteristic connective tissue which is called parenchyme or it is called mesenchyme okay so you can see here this is endoderm the outer layer is ectoderm okay and in between the space is filled by the connective tissue which is called mesenchyme or it is also called parenchyme then the organisms are aquatic 
organisms majority of forms are parasites they are endoparasites means they live inside the host of host body right so majority of the uh, forms are parasitic like tape forms liver flukes blood flukes etc and free living forms like planaria are also found digestive system is incomplete that is they have only single opening which access both mouth and anus here you can see in the diagram there is only one opening which access mouth as well as anus so through this cap uh, opening only the food is taken inside and through this opening only the digest the undigested food is released outside the body or you can say the waste material is released outside the body respiratory system is absent so respiration occurs through general body surface circulatory system is also absent even the skeletal system is absent in platyhelminths reproduction occurs by both the means okay asexual reproduction occurs by fragmentation or you can say regeneration okay that means body has the capacity to produce the new part or the lost out part uh by the regeneration process okay flatworms are hermaphrodites or monoecious or bisexual having both male and female reproductive systems in the same individual fertilization is internal it takes place inside the body and uh, development is indirect again as it is indirect there are many larval stages uh, which are being observed during the life cycle and uh, regeneration is also being observed the lost out part can be produced again then unsegmented body is there means the body doesn't have the segments except the tape form tape form body is segmented as you can see in this figure there are segments on the body of the tape form so only tape forms have the segments rest all other organisms are unsegmented they are dorso ventrally flattened okay that is from the upper and from the lower side they are flat okay so they are called the flat worms then for excretion they have uh, flame cells which are also called the uh, protonephridia okay so flame cells are the specialized excretory cells that helps in removing the waste material outside the body and it also helps in osmoregulation osmoregulation means um, maintenance of constant osmotic pressure in the fluids of an organism by the control of water and salt concentrations okay so flame cells which are also called protonephridia they help in osmoregulation and excretion here in this you can see this is the diagram of uh, here the flame cells are present in the body this is the enlarged view or magnified view of the flame cells which are connected to the excretory duct okay so flame cells are the specialized excretory uh, cells which helps in the osmoregulation and excretion then they have hooks and suckers parasitic forms have hooks and suckers with which they can attach to the host organism and they can with the help of suckers with the help of hook they get attached to the substratum or to the host organism and with the help of suckers they 
um, take the nutrient or they can suck the blood of the host organism some absorb nutrients from the host through their body surface only means they are ectoparasites they live on the body of the host organism and from there only they absorb the nutrients so these are the various examples that is tenia solium pork tapeworm fasciola that is liver fluke and planaria let us have the glance at the characteristics of phylum platyhelminths they have organ and organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical means the body can be divided into two halves right and the left half then they are triploblastic they have three germ layers outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and the inner endoderm they are acylomate means there is no body cavity they are mainly aquatic they are found in water bodies they are endoparasites they live inside the body of the host organism and some of them are free living they do not require any host okay digestive system is incomplete that is they have only one opening through which they can take in the food and they can release out the waste material respiratory and circulatory systems are absent in their body reproduction occurs by both the means asexual as well as sexual asexual reproduction takes place by the means of regeneration which is observed in planaria that you have already studied in 10th class and sexual reproduction is also observed the organisms are hermaphrodite means monoecious or bisexual you can say both the reproductive organs reproductive systems male and female reproductive systems are present in the same individual fertilization takes place inside the body of the organism so it is internal fertilization and larval stages are produced so it is indirect development the body is unsegmented except for tapeworm and Uh, organisms are dorsal ventrally flattened for excretion and for osmoregulation they have flame cells which are also called protonephridia and parasitic forms have hooks and suckers with which they can attach to the host organism and they can absorb the nutrients respectively some of them absorb the nutrients from the host through their body surface So children that is all for today i hope you have understood the topic in our next video we will be learning about phylum eskelmins and phylum annelida thank you